Alexander, let's have a look, look at, at the yourself. stats. Fact, yourself, well, quite clearly the obvious one that stands out is see, uh, Burns is 118 is kilos. He has a 20 kilo weight advantage. And yes, that is not final. something I would want sitting on top of me in full mount, pounding away with when ground and pound Dan Hooker. Well, that's where he's going to have his big advantage once Henry gets a hold of the smaller man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our finals of the Force four-man fight series. This is, of course, the heavyweights, mixed martial arts. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with white trim. He now has nine wins with one loss, with four big wins coming by way of KO. Representing Smack Jim in Auckland, he's the New Zealand BJJ Gi and No Gi champion. Introducing Singy Pasolini! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, enters the ring wearing blue trunks with white trim. He now has four wins, three losses, with two big wins coming by way of KO. Representing City MMA in Auckland, he's a BJJ and wrestling champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Henry Burns! Both of them Fighters here the by virtue ring, please, of upsets. Please, referee Neil Swell's instructions. Neil Swell's veteran referee, one of the pioneers of New Zealand MMA. Gentlemen, final of the tournament. Three by three with an extension round in place. Any questions from you, Siggy? Any questions, Henry? Touch gloves now if you wish. Siggy Pisalele, upset victory over Cameron Tukawa. Mark Hunt watching on with interest in the audience. And Henry Burns, a very quick TKO victory over Tupper Missy Party. And we're underway in the final of the Force MMA four man. Pisalele. In the black shorts, Burns, the heavier man in the blue. And he is surprisingly agile, although he can be a little wild, as we've just seen. Yeah, we have Pesalele here trying to employ that same game plan we saw in the first round against uh, Cameron. He's staying in the bigger man's face, he's pressuring him, and he's uh, keeping active, making the bigger man work. But uh, he moves well for a big man, Henry Burns. And you'll you notice he's drifting. Pesolelli trying to set himself for the left hook there. Missed with the overhand. And uh, Burns back out into the center ring. Just a slightly different fight in terms of what uh, Burns is offering. Good agility from the bigger man. Uh, not standing in front. Uh, he's, he's circling out. He's doing a very good job with his footwork here. There's an overhand right. Pesolelli lands with the overhand right. Neil Sparrows is letting it go. Burns trying to pump him off. And then he rained down Hellfire and Brimstone with the big right hands and the dropping bummed elbows. Pesolelli from nowhere, 92 kilos of precision. And now we know power, an upset victor over two bigger men with clear weight advantages. And he did it all with stand-up. And there you see the results of some of those elbows coming down. The overhand right from Pesolelli. It was the beginning of the end. And well, Dan Hooker. That is, uh, well, certainly an upset for the ages. Yeah, definitely. Uh, having such a small man take out this uh, heavyweight MMA four man. Uh, Burns circling out there, but just not enough distance between him and his opponent. Well, he was circling on the ropes, wasn't he? And, and he? and he couldn't really step back. Got caught drifting, and the overhand right came. And here we go with the formalities from the tender Dan. Fight us in the center ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, with two minutes and 12 seconds gone in the first round, your winner by knockout and inaugural mixed martial arts heavyweight force champion fighting out of the blue corner, Siggy Pesolele! Well, Siggy Pesolele. Well.